Batman. A third victim. It looks like he was hiding behind this car when he was killed. How did Deadshot do it? I think I found the link that connects Deadshot's victims. Good. He's killed again. We need to stop him. The first two both worked for Strange. The first victim was a specialist in wireless broadcast technology. He worked on the tower communication system. And the other one? I can't find any information about what he worked on, which is suspicious enough if you ask me. But he was previously contracted on military projects, specializing in advanced weapon delivery systems. Deadshot's clearing up Strange's mess. I'll track this shot to see if he left anything I can use to find him. Good work, Barb. The bullet hit here. That's how he did it. Deadshot ricocheted his shot off this shutter. To make the shot, Deadshot would have been lying down. His body heat melted the snow there. We've got him, Oracle. I've isolated a number of very distinctive plastic-based particles and identified items that use this material in their construction. So I see. Looking at the possible choices, I assume you've decided on the power substations, right? Exactly. Cross-referencing this against locations that would definitely contain the metallic particles from the second crime scene gives us... Three locations. You've done it. You're actually gonna catch the son of a bitch. I've marked the map. I'll let you know what happens. The only way I'm going to find Deadshot is to check out each of the locations that match his forensic profile. There's an electrical substation nearby. I should search for it and see if it's the one Deadshot used. This wasn't the substation Deadshot's been using. This substation could be the one Deadshot used. Deadshot was here. He was using this substation to store his equipment and... A PDA. It's heavily encrypted. I'll need to bypass the security if I'm going to find out any more about Deadshot and what he's doing here. This PDA was definitely given...